Hey guys, what's up? This is Ray here. Today I'm going to do a first impressions video on this Revlon Custom Creations. And I've never tried anything like this before, so I'm kind of excited. Got it a while back, so I I think they still have it, but I'm not sure. Um, It is in medium SPF 15 foundation. And basically there's like a little lock and I think you twist it. I don't know. We're going to try it out. I've never tried anything like this before. So we're going to try it out. I already got my primer on. And I already got like a foundation on top. Because this makes my face look lighter than when I need it to be. And it's like I got kicked out of a Facebook group over this whole my face is lighter than my neck thing. Yes, I got kicked out of a Facebook group just for that, but I will, I think I'll make a separate video talking about that. Um, definitely a funny experience. Uh, <laughs> never had that experience before. Never had so many insults within two minutes, uh, attacking the way I apply my makeup. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, I will talk about that in a different video. <laughs> but anyways, let's move on to this. Okay, so it says first you have to start pumping from here to get it to flow and then you could change the the colors. So there's the different colors here. And I think it's like from a lighter beige to a darker beige. And it has like a little color chart here. One, two, three, four, five. So the, first I'm going to put it on the where it tells me that first I have to pump, start pumping. And I always use a sponge for now, so let's see. You have to keep pumping until something comes out. There we go. We got some out. So, huh. <laughs> My instinct is to smell it. it. Smells like foundation, I don't know. Let me just try it. Wow. And maybe this color looks will be better on me. It looks better. I don't know. Looks better. Okay. I think I'm going to keep using that one. I don't know what uh, number this is. That's what it looks like. I'm going to put it on this cheek. Okay, so maybe chicks won't attack me if I use a darker color. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know why they're freaking attacking me, but I will tell you everything that happened. Okay. And this has happened to me before. Um, and like, you can't even promote anything if it's not Mac. Like, I'll just, I'll just talk about it later. Seems to be working pretty good so far. Am I showing you? Am I, sh I mean, can you see it? Okay. I'm gonna finish my face real quick and I'll just give you a real quick look and tell you what I think about it. Okay, so I believe that the the overall coverage is light to medium. Yeah, it's light to medium with the intentions of this being buildable on your skin because you are mixing the colors to create a color custom to your skin. Therefore, it is not thick. So when you use something like this, consider that you're going to have to layer it. Not thick at all. It is... Uh, pretty good. I mean, it's okay, but I don't think it's the one. Um, before I used it, I noticed that it had separated a little bit from whatever type of oil thing it has in it. It had separated a little bit, so I had to shake it. So, um, yeah, but the color seems okay. It is still a little bit lighter, so I'm going to have to move it to a darker shade. Because on camera, you can see it's a little bit lighter. Let me try that again. Let me, I mean, well, let me put the darker color on it. Moving it to number three, which is in the middle. Over here is lighter. Over here, oh no, wait. Over here is lighter. Over here, it's darker. So, and you can see there that it's darker. It's definitely darker. So, basically... They were complaining about my neck being different colors, or I don't know what the hell. But, um, I 
don't know. Well, uh, it's better. Matches more, I guess. I mean, to be honest, how are you going to find, like, you're not going to find something that's, like, an exact, exact match of your overall skin color. Because, like, my skin isn't the same color on my whole body. Like, here it's lighter. Right here it's darker. Like, it's just, like, my arm is darker here. And then it's lighter here. Like, there's a white spot there. Like, my skin is all different kinds of colors. So, it's, I don't, I don't ever see how it's possible to do a complete match to your natural skin colors like <clears throat> but anyways um this makeup seems okay it's a uh, matching pretty good I in my opinion it's matching pretty good I don't get scared of having two different color tones unless you're gonna do if unless you really want to try to do a natural natural look then yeah, try to get as much as close to possible. But like, I'm just having fun. Like, I'm not like, like I said, I'm not trying to be perfect. Like, I'm not like a, trying to be a Barbie, you know. I'm just trying to have fun with it. With the makeup, like. So anyways. Um, yeah, so that's how it looks. And then I do plan to contour and highlight. So I think it's looking pretty good. Um. Never tried it before, but my first impressions of this is that it's nice and it is medium coverage, so you can build it up. So, yeah. And I used a sponge. I imagine if you use a brush, like a foundation brush, it'll probably look a little different. Like maybe, I don't know. But I like sponges because I think it's like simple and it's kind of airy, you know, and like you could throw it away afterwards because like the brush you have to like clean it and all that stuff. And I just like this because it's faster. <laughs> yeah, so if you have problems finding your exact color, I recommend something like this. I do. <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.